Hello children in our last video we have learned the components of food and now in this video we will discuss the chapter 3 that is fiber to fabric so fiber to fabric pahli and bujo won the first prize in the science quiz competition held at their school they were very excited and decided to use the prize money to buy clothes for their parents when they saw a large variety of cloth material they got confused the shopkeeper explained that some clothes are fabrics were cotton and some are synthetic he also had woolen mufflers and shawls there are there were many silk sarees as well pahli and bujo felt very excited they touched and felt these different fabrics finally they brought a woolen muffler and a cotton saree after their visit to the cloth shop pahli and bujo began to notice various fabrics in their surrounding they found that bed sheets blankets curtains table cloths towels and dusters were made from different kinds of fabrics even their school bags and the gunny bags were made from some kinds of fabric they tried to identify these fabrics as cotton wool silk or synthetic can you also identify some fabrics let us learn the variety of in fabrics do some activity web in activity 1 Visit a nearby tailoring shop. Collect the cutting of fabrics left over after stitching. Feel and touch each piece of fabric. Now try to label some of the fabric as cotton, silk, wool, or synthetic. After asking for help from the tailor, do you wonder what these different fabrics are made of? When you look at any fabric. it seems a continuous piece now look at it closely what do you notice so select the piece of a cotton fabric you label in activity 1 now try to find a loose thread or yarn at one of the edges and pull it out if no loose yarns are visible you can gently pull one out with a pin or a needle we find we find that fabric is made up of yarns arranged together what are these yarns made of fiber so activity 3 take out a yarn from the piece of cotton fabric place this piece of yarn on the table now press one end of the yarn with your thumb scratch the another end of the yarn along its length with your nail as shown in figure do you find that at this end the yarn splits up into thin strands so you might have observed something similar when you try to thread a needle many a time the end of the thread is separated into few thin strands this makes it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle the thin strands of thread that we see are made up of still thinner strands called fibers fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers where do these fibers come from the fibers of some fabrics such as cotton jute silk and wool are obtained from plants and animals these are called natural fibers cotton and jute are example of fibers obtained from plants wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat it also obtained from their from the hair of rabbits 
yak and camels silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of silk worm for thousand of years natural fibers were are were the only ones available for ma- making fabrics in the last 100 years or so fibers are also made from chemical bujo has seen in the museum items like the one shown here these were worn by various he wants to know if these are made up made of some kinds of fiber substances which are not obtained from plant or animal sources these are called synthetic fibers some examples of synthetic fibers are polyester nylon and acrylic some plant fibers that are cotton have you ever made wicks for oil lamps that you do what you what do you use for making these wicks this cotton wool is also used for filling mattresses quilts and pillows take some cotton wool pull it apart and look at its edges what do you observe the small thin standards that you see are made up of cotton fibers where does this cotton wool come from it is grown in the fields cotton plants are usually grown at places having black soil and warm climate can you name some states of our country where cotton is grown the fruits of the cotton plant that co- are called cotton balls are about the size of lemon after maturing the balls burst open and the seed covered with cotton fibers can be seen have you ever seen a cotton field that is ready for picking it looks like a field covered with snow from these balls cotton is usually picked by hand fibers are then separated from the seeds by com- combing this process called kinnigging of cotton ginning ginning was traditionally done by hand these days machine are also used for ginning jute jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant it is cultivated during the rainy season in india jute is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam the jute plant is normally harvested when it is an at flowering stage the stems of the harvested plants are immersed in water for few days the stems rot and fibers are separated by hand to make fabrics all these fibers are first converted into yarns how is it done spinning spinning cotton yarn you can try making cotton yarn yourself hold some cotton wool in your hand pinch some cotton between the thumb and four finger for the other hand now gently start pulling out the cotton while continuously twisting the fibers like in figure 3.9 are you able to make a yarn the process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning in this process fibers from a mass of a cotton wool are drawn out and twisted this brings the fibers together to form a yarn a simple device used for spinning is a hand spindle also called takli in figure 3.10 another hand operated device used for spinning is charkha in figure 3.11 so use of charkha was popularized by mahatma gandhi as part of independence movement he encouraged people to wear clothes made of 
homespun. Homespun yarn, termed as khadi and shun, imported cloths made in mills of Britain. To popularize and promote khadi, the government of India constituted a body called Khadi and Village Industries Commission in 1956. Spinning of yarn on a large scale is done with the help of spinning machines. After spinning yarns are used for making fabrics. Yarn to Fiber Yarn to Fabric There are many ways by which fabrics are made from yarns. The two main processes are weaving and knitting. Weaving. In activity 2, you might have noticed that fabric is made up of two sets of yarn arranged together. The process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called weaving. Let us try to weave some paper strips. In activity 5, take two sheets of paper of different colors. Cut square pieces of length and width equal to 30 cm from each seat. Now fold both the seats into half. On one seat draw lines as shown in the figure 3.12 and on the other as shown in figure 3.12. Cut both the sheets along the dotted lines and then unfold. Weep the strips one by one through the cuts in the sheet of paper as shown in the figure 3.12 and figure 3.12d shows the patterns after weaving all the strips used to make a piece of fabric like 3.14 have you ever pulled the yarn from a torn pair of socks? What happens? A single yarn gets pulled out continuously as the fabric gets unraveled. Socks and many other clothing items are made of knitted fabrics. Knitting is done by hand and also on machines. In similar manner, two sets of yarn are woven to make a fabric. The yarns are much thinner than our paper strips. Of course, weaving of fabric is done on looms. The looms are either hand operated or power operated. Knitting. Have you noticed how sweaters are knitted? Paheli wants to know if you have seen any fabrics that are made of these fibers on the outer covering of coconut. What? Are these fibers normally used for? So knitting. Have you noticed that sweaters are knitted? In knitting, a single yarn, weaving and knitting are used for making different kinds of fabric. These fabrics are used for variety of clothing items. History of clothing materials. Have you ever wondered that materials, what materials people used in ancient times for cloths? It appears that in cloths, in those times people used the bark and big leaves of trees or animal skin and furs to cover themselves. After people began to settle in agriculture communities, they learned to weave twigs and grass into mats and baskets. Wines, animals, fleas or hair were twisted together into long strands. These are woven into fabrics. The early Indians wore fabrics made out of cotton that grew in the region near the river Ganga. Flax is also a plant that give, gives natural fibers. In ancient Egypt, cotton as well as flax are cultivated near the river Neel and were used for making fabrics. In those days, stitching was not known. People simply draped the fabrics around different parts of their body. Many different ways of draping fabrics are used. 
with the inv invention of the sewing needles people started stitching fabrics to make clothes stitched clothes have gone through many variations since this invention but is it not amazing that even today sari dhoti lungi or turban is used as an unstitched piece of fabric just as there is a large variety in the food eaten all over our country a large variety exists also in fabrics and clothing items so cotton rolls after ginning becomes fiber and fiber after spinning it gives yarn and then yarn after knitting or weaving gives fabric so the summary there is a variety of clothing material or fabrics such as cotton silk wool and polyester fabrics are made from yarns which in turn the made from fibers fibers are either natural or synthetic cotton wool silk and jute are some natural fibers while nylon and polyester are some example of synthetic fibers fibers like cotton and jute are obtained from plants the process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning fabric from yarns is made by weaving and knitting let us do some exercise question and answers so children classify the following fibers as natural or synthetic so nylon is a synthetic fiber wool is a natural fiber cotton is a natural fiber silk is a natural fiber polyester is the synthetic fiber and jute is a natural fiber state whether the following statements are true or false yarn is made from fibers this is true spinning is a process of making fibers this is true jute is the outer covering of coconut this is false the process of removing seed from cotton is called ginning so children the process of removing seed by the that is called ginning this is true next is weaving of yarn makes a piece of fabric true silk fiber is obtained from the stem of a plant that is false polyester is a natural fiber this is false fill in the blanks plants plant fibers are obtained from dash and dash so plants plant fibers are obtained from cotton and jute animal fibers are animal fibers are silk and wool from which parts of the plant cotton and jute are obtained so cotton is obtained from the flower of the fruit of the plant and uh, the jute is obtained from the stem of the plant next is name two items that are made from coconut fiber so mats and ropes are the items made from coconut fibers explain the process of making yarn from fiber so children we can make yarn from fiber by the process of spinning and we already studied about the spinning spinning is what spinning is the process of folding the cotton into the by hand or by machines so this was the lesson explanation of the le
your third lesson fiber to fabric i hope you understood this lesson very well and please children don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more such videos at last thanks for watching keep learning keep watching